Decades after we first met the Taylor family, it's impossible to picture Tim Allen's overambitious handyman slash TV host, Tim the Toolman Taylor, married to anyone but his smart, cool, vest-wearing wife, Jill, played by Patricia Richardson. Years after the show's end in May 1999, Richardson recalled that the pair's chemistry on the show was instantly clear, telling HuffPost Live, Tim was so hilarious and we just clicked right away. It was a really fast five or six days when we did the pilot. Even after the Home Improvement series finale, the actress found it weird watching her co-star with his other on-screen wives. Richardson once joked, "...whenever I see him with other people, I think, well, he was mine first." Bolstered by an actress with whom he had a natural rapport, Alan captivated audiences on Home Improvement, which served as a big Hollywood break, propelling him from stand-up comedian to the lead in the Christmas classic The Santa Claus in 1994. He went on to voice Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story a year after that, all while continuing to film the sitcom. Richardson became beloved amongst viewers of the time and maintains a steady career to this day. All this considered, one might assume that Alan and Richardson were the obvious perfect TV couple match from the get-go, but the truth is that Richardson wasn't Tim Taylor's first on-screen wife. Before ABC executives begged her to play Jill, they actually cast someone else in the role. On paper, ABC's first pick for Jill seemed sound. The first version of the Home Improvement pilot starred dramatic actress Frances Fisher as the Taylor family matriarch. At the time, Fisher's most famous on-screen role was her five-year stint as Detective Deborah Saxon in ABC's long-running crime drama soap opera The Edge of Night. Off-screen for a time, she was best known in the headlines as Clint Eastwood's girlfriend. Fisher dated the actor-turned-director for almost six years after meeting him on the set of the film Pink Cadillac in 1989, in which she had a small part. Despite Fisher's stellar dramatic record, her talents didn't quite translate to the boisterous jokes of home improvement. Richard Karn, who plays Tim's long-suffering tool-time co-presenter Al Borland, said the Home Improvement writers changed their minds about Fisher just three days into rehearsals. After the pilot didn't fly with audiences, the creative team scrambled to replace Fisher with a different star. Karn recalled, Frances is a great actress, but in this role with Tim, she came off more as a victim to him than his equal. I feel like I've gone through so many things, I, I don't know how to explain it. And former Walt Disney Television president Dean Valentine told the Archive of American Television that Fisher's comedic skills simply weren't up to the task of competing with Alan. She's really, she's a wonderful actress, but she's not really as funny as he is. Fisher probably isn't dwelling too much on losing the part. She's had a brilliant career on the small screen since, appearing on episodes of top-rated TV shows like The X-Files, ER, Grey's Anatomy, and Fargo. Perhaps most famously, she played Rose's icy mother Ruth in the 1997 blockbuster Titanic. After changing their minds about Fisher, ABC executives almost failed to convince Patricia Richardson to take over. At the time, she'd just given birth to twins and already had a six-year-old at home, and she was supposed to go back to work on a different show for the network in nine months' time. When Richardson got the call to say she'd been cast on Home Improvement, instead, she resisted. She later told HuffPost Live, "...I had never heard of Tim and I didn't know anything about it." Richardson told the network brass they would have to wait for her to breastfeed her twins during filming, and they agreed. But what finally convinced her was that the producers had worked on her favorite show, Roseanne. Meanwhile, Richardson's husband at the time, actor Ray Baker, immediately saw the potential. He reportedly told her, "...this is the show you're going to do for for seven years. Actually, it turned out to be eight. Richardson returned for the eighth and final season of Home Improvement because she'd promised the crew she would, but was determined to leave after that. She's very clear on why Home Improvement was canceled after season eight. She and Alan didn't want to stay on for another season, no matter how much money ABC was willing to pay. Additionally, some of the show's key voices weren't returning for a potential ninth season, including some longtime writers, and Richardson felt the show was going to suffer as a result. Plus, as she said, she was burned out from working long days, including in the writer's room. She told HuffPost Live, "...I really just felt like I need to get out of this show and have a life again and see my children and maybe have a date because I had gotten divorced halfway through." Richardson contributed so much to the sitcom, but after a long and wildly successful run, it was time to move on and to make a few home improvements of her own. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.